Hey guys, Bobby Jean. Just a very quick short video here to get everybody caught up, up to snuff here. Uh, if you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, you know that I'm now on the east coast of Florida, out here on the Atlantic Ocean in Cocoa Beach, enjoying the amazing weather and amazing beaches, as well as visiting friends and family. In a few days here, I am going to have surgery on my right knee to repair a torn meniscus uh, that I did on all my crazy adventures at some point. Don't know when. And uh, so I get back in the game. I have some other appointments I need to take care of, do some RV maintenance, and lots of videos to make showing you what Florida has to offer in this area. If you've been following Pippi and I, um, as you've seen on her channel, she released a video somewhat of a tribute to having to say goodbye to uh, me and friends as she uh, continues west. Uh, our long-term goals take us in different directions. Uh, she will be heading out uh, to uh, reconnect with family and heading towards home to uh, further her career and um, education endeavor. And uh, it's a good thing. Uh, she's got a plan and uh, we all wish her all the best of luck and wish her well. She will be missed very much each and every day, but we can always go back and look at our all of our videos and our adventures together whenever um, we want. So uh, we want to wish her all the best and uh, safe travels. Other than that, I'm kind of thinking I might continue uh, with my long-term plan, which is to get to the Canada area uh, along the eastern seaboard into the New England states. More about that later. Right now, we're getting to ready. We're getting ready to make a nice light dinner. Um, when I'm down in Florida, this is my opportunity <laughs> to try to get rid of some of that holiday weight, get back in shape, make my doctor happy, and just try to feel good overall again. So tonight we're going to do a nice light grilled cedar plank maple and smoked pepper salmon with a salad. Okay, let's talk about prep. This is how the cedar plank salmon looks like when you buy it at your grocery uh, seafood section. Now this is typically kept in the frozen section, but living in an RV, a lot of the work is already done for you, so you don't have to worry about having a lot of ingredients or materials at hand, taking up space in your RV to put this together and get the same result. Here we have a cedar plank and the salmon is on that and it's in a maple and smoked pepper marinade. If you don't know what a cedar plank salmon is, it's just a piece of wood of cedar and it's been pre-soaked in water uh, for a long time so that the uh, cedar plank while it's on the grill doesn't catch fire and burn up and burn up your fish. It's soaked so that it will just uh, chill out there above the flames of your grill and the smoke that is created as the cedar plank is heated up is imparted to the fish and adds to make this amazing flavor complementing the other ingredients in the marinade. If you find this in your, like I said, if you find this in your uh, grocery freezer in the seafood section, this is how it will look coming out of the box. If you make this at home from scratch, it will look the same way, but you will have it covered in plastic. And I can tell in no difference in the taste. Now getting the um, plastic off of here and getting this guy ready to go to the grill can be a little messy. This is sticky, it's got maple in there, so you want to, um, Take little precautions here so you don't make a big mess in your kitchen. So what I do is I take a serving tray such as this and some tin foil. This will guarantee that you do not create a big mess and guarantee quick and easy cleanup afterwards. Once you have this down, you just place your cedar plank on that. We're gonna get some scissors and we're gonna cut off the plastic around three sides of the cedar plank. Peel the plastic back carefully. Put your paper towel over here to keep any collateral damage. Let's peel the plastic off the corners of the cedar plank. Raise that baby out of there. Keeping everything over the tin foil. Put the plank on the table or back on the tray and now i'm going to drizzle some of this marinade back over the fish where it belongs 
Now I'm going to carefully fold up this bag to where the seam that I didn't cut is at the top. And now you can put this in a paper towel or another Ziploc bag and throw it in the trash. Or you just throw it in the trash the way it is and it won't drip. And now here's our beautiful cedar plank. Now, moving around and all that stuff, you know, some of your seasoning is can kind of get uh, scattered around there. So what we're going to do is grab us a little plastic spoon here and I'm just going to kind of go around the salmon on here and scrape all of this beautiful, delicious, sweet, peppery marinade, sweet and smoky pepper. Now you're probably thinking this, this looks like a lot of peppercorn, <laughs> you know, I'm not a big fan of, you know, pepper or uh, fresh ground pepper, peppercorns all in there, you know, they're, they're spicy and they take, they, they take over. No, this, the peppercorns here have been marinated, they're smoked already and then they cook down in the grill and you, they just add a very subtle nutty sweetness to the uh, spice to the fish without tasting that's peppercorn so you don't get that overabundance in the mouth peppercorn uh, flavor that you might expect to being covered in a peppercorn crust like that okay now for for now we're gonna set our salmon aside and let's throw together a salad so look at this cutting board I found just by chance, you know, I went out to get rid of my uh, my larger, heavier, big, thick olive wood cutting board uh, just to lighten up the load here in the RV and save some space. And I found this one. It's thinner and uh, it's got silicone edges on it that are raised so that it stays off the table. But it, whatever the cutting surface is, it grips. But look at this. It fits perfectly exactly in this, the cutout opening for the, the double sink. So I can chop right here and move this over and slide stuff into a bowl or into the sink um, and just move it around from either side and use it that way. I mean, it just perfectly fits in there and it doesn't move because of the silicone edges. So I don't know if that's, you know, these sinks are standard size in every RV, but if you see a cutting board like this, you might really appreciate it. In your produce department, you know where all the dressings are kept in the coolers over there. You have your typical dressings, but many of the dressings that are uh, creamy will have a higher fat content and high in calories. But Bolt House makes a line of these uh, yogurt based dressings that are really very good and you have a fraction of the fat, 3.5 grams of fat, 40 calories if you are cutting. Um, if you are not cutting, you can use whatever dressing you would like, of course, but I love these. Cucumber ranch and avocado cilantro. I mean, really? Okay, so now it's time to have some fun with this guy. Let's go fire up the grill. Oh, by the way, give it a little bit of thought and I decided to go ahead and put up an email so that you can contact me. I uh, get a lot of advice, feedback, input, recommendations, and whatnot from you guys, the viewers, down in the comments section. 
and uh, you know, time will go by and, and I'll go, oh, so-and-so said to go see this or that or whatever while I was in this town, or it m might even want to meet up. I can't remember who that was, and I'm trying to go back into videos in the comment section and find it, and uh, that's not very easy to do. So here is an email where you can contact me and I can better categorize and track these types of um, communications at b.genestherapy at gmail.com and feel free to drop me a line um, if even in the comments if you happen to say something like that I'll say hey flip me an email so that I can have written record of that and keep track of it much easier and get back to you on it as I promised thanks Okay, so we're going to let that guy hang out on the grill for about 20 to 25 minutes ish uh, at about 350 to 400 degrees, whatever you're able to temperature to keep it at uh, as best. Um, after that time, have a quick read thermometer on hand when that time ends. You just poke it right in the thickest part of that salmon and uh, you should get about uh, 145 to 150 degrees and you're good to go. Okay, after you've achieved the temperature you want, I'm going to kill the fire. I'm going to use two tools here. Your objective here is to remove the salmon and leave the skin on the cedar plank. So, come in from both directions. Get under there. thin part is the hardest part. Then you should be able to just slide that salmon right off the skin onto the plate. Close the lid. Just let that stay there until it's cool. Now if you want to have if you want your salmon to have an even cleaner taste, flip it up on its side like this and you'll see some gray meats under here. That's some leftover uh, oil rich meat uh, left over from the skin side so it will have a little bit more of that skin fat which has a little bit more fish oil so if you have it nice and clean like that if those of you who do not like a fishy tasting fish that's as clean as it gets right there you will love it okay now we're gonna dish out some of our salad Some of those nice little tomatoes, those little sweet grape tomatoes there are so nice. Get them when they're on the vine like that. They'll be so fresh. Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I am ready to eat. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice flaky fish there. It's got a beautiful maple glaze on there with the smoked peppercorn crust. And that smoke imparted from the, the cedar plank. Oh yeah. And that is super clean and delicious. Wow, that is so good and a nice cool salad to, to go along with it. This is so good. And you know, another thing I like about this recipe is it is so stinking easy. I mean, you saw all I did was take it out of the package, put it on the grill, take it off the grill, and throw in a salad. Or, you know, if you wanted to, you could just steam some vegetables and throw those on there. Whatever makes you happy. Super quick and easy and very, very tasty and very, very good for you. So, uh, you know, you can get pick this up depending on where you shop. You know, the prices change across the, the country, but... Depending on where you shop, you could probably pick this cedar plank salmon up in your seafoods frozen section for about uh, eight or nine bucks. Um, to me, it's worth it because it saves me from having to soak the cedar plank and keep all these ingredients on board here. It's already ready to go. Some seafood markets will have um, them fresh in a bourbon style on a pre-soaked cedar plank. 
and you don't have to worry about anything it's not frozen you can just take it and cook it you don't have to thaw it uh, so that's also a plus I've seen uh, some salmon available like that at the counter so uh, super tasty and good for you thank you for tuning in for this short little video I appreciate you it's always good to touch base and have you guys swing in and see that I'm still alive and kicking as I uh, uh, take care of business here in Florida. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram so that you can keep up on the shenanigans as of late uh, in between videos. Meanwhile, be safe, take care. I'm Bobby Jean and this is Good Therapy. Mm -hmm.